Greetings family, good news to you, good news to you. Welcome you to another video of the day. In this video, a man of God, Prophet Hubert Angel, in his visitation to Ethiopia, made a shocking revelation about the nation of Ethiopia, that they were the one that had the Bible even before the white man has the Bible. And he went on to talk about certain revelation about Ethiopia. So let's go straight to this video. No privilege that is better than this one. <laughs> that the God of the universe can be spoken to every religion every religion God speaks to men through one man but if you look in their texts or in their books you will see that God only speaks once or twice in the whole text it is only in the Bible where God starts by speaking and God said and he ends by speaking behold I come quickly and let me explain to you something. It is not the white men that brought the Bible to Africa. Ethiopia had the Bible before the white men. As a matter of fact, Ethiopia had the gospel before the Bible. There is a man called the Ethiopian eunuch who was taught by Philip. Philip and if you understand that is before the Bible, the New Testament was written. There was already an Ethiopian coming to Africa to tell them what's happening before the Bible was written. And for those who do not understand, the wife of Moses was Ethiopian. So Africa can boast because of Ethiopia. Of the countries that God speaks of, in the Bible, God speaks of Ethiopia. So I didn't come here to teach you the Bible. You had the Bible before we had the Bible. I came here for a revival. That Ethiopia, Ethiopia will have to be the best at taking the gospel to the Europeans, to the Americans. Let me tell you another fact before we, we proceed with our prayer. How many of you have ever been to Israel? If you have ever been to Israel, raise your hand. I can see a few hands. Do you know all the sites we visit today in Israel? When Europeans say they are going to Israel, when they say they are going to Israel to see the sites, the holy sites, it was Queen Elena who found the holy sites. That means it is an Ethiopian who told us where Jesus was crucified, where we find the sites, where we find everything. And let me explain to you something. She said she saw something in a vision. And a lot of people think it's a lie. 
ብዙ ሰዎች ውሸት ነው ብለው ያስባሉ። And I know the orthodox Christians in this country በዚህ ያሉ ኦርቶዶክስ አማኞች are really following the truth. እውነቱ እንደተከተሉ አመናለሁ። That was the truth she actually saw it in a vision. በራይ እንዳየችው አመናለሁኝ ነኝ። So let me take you something. ሌላ ነገር ላስራጀች You are the ones with the biggest and the largest volumes of history connected to the Holy Land than any other nation. But it's now time to take that heritage and take the gospel to them. Raise your hands, raise your hands, raise your hands. Your prayer today should be this one. Whatever you do in this season God Don't do it without us As a matter of fact say don't do it without me Let it be direct Begin to say it begin to say it begin to say it begin to say it Ziparatia la kasontele ya brania zebihi kapretos li kompania salahadia salahaka le boros Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Raise your hands again. There is nothing God does without prayer. Never take prayer as a ritual or as a work or a religious chore. Prayer is your access. And in a few minutes, God will be doing a lot of things. And let me tell you something. I didn't come here to try. I came here to do. The Lord is doing great things. We have not started, so we are still praying. We're going to Thank you for watching this video. Do well to subscribe, turn on the notification button, alert on our future video. God bless you.